that which is known as a person is nothing other than the self-experiencing of the infinite. Once again, that which is known as a person is nothing other than the self-experiencing itself as finite. The self-experiencing itself as finite. In other words, that which is known as a person is nothing than the self, which is the infinite, experiencing itself as the finite. In truth, it is the magnificent and infinite ocean of consciousness in which numerous universes appear and disappear like ripples and waves. When the subject-object notion is transcended, all the veils that envelop the reality are removed. The individual is nothing but the personalized mind. Individuality ceases when the mind ceases. It remains as long as the notion of a personality remains. So long as there's a jar, there's also the notion of a space inside the jar, enclosed by the jar or confined to the jar. But when it is broken, the infinite space alone is, even when the jar was um, imagined before as having containing that space. Okay, so this is just some revision from the past and uh, to continue with our sutras for instant uh, um, enlightenment, I, um, I proceed now with where we left out, uh, where we left before. Our present insecurity comes from trying to be secure in the future. So the search for security is the cause of all insecurity. Think about that. Having formed the habit of looking ahead or behind, but never right here, we never live in the real world, only the imagined world. Time is the measurement of experience, the measurement of energy, the measurement of motion. When we think now, we when we think the word now, we tend to think of the shortest interval of time that is immediately here, but then it suddenly vanishes, suddenly, immediately, it's gone. As soon as you say now, the now that you thought about is gone. The perception of time creates a present that is constantly and instantly vanishing into the past. Before you have time to capture the present, it's gone. <laughs> It's ungraspable. The idea of time does not allow us to actually experience a present. It is too short-lived. We actually experience time slipping away. We develop time urgency expressed in phrases such as don't waste time. Time is money. Time is valuable. So time becomes anxiety. This actually is a sensation in the body. The anxiety that we call time anxiety is a cognitive and perceptual experience of past and future. When we are asked who we are, we actually describe who we were. Of course, we also project a future and an idea that this future has the ability to supply us with something that will give us what we are really looking for, satisfaction, fulfillment, happiness, peace of mind. This is because we live in a present that is so short-lived that it's not really here. <clears throat> All this, of course, is a hallucination because in reality, there is no such thing as time. There is only now. Both the past and future are projections in imagination, the measurements of experience. There is only now. Every experience, real or imagined, is now. To not live in now, to live in a demented world of hallucinations. To not live now or not live in the now is to live in a demented world of hallucinations. And so it's no measure of sanity to adjust to this world of insanity. Time is the measurement of experience, as I said. Measuring is done through symbols. It is an extraordinary human ability to create symbols through which we can measure. Each symbol is a measuring device and usually a number. 
these symbols measure experience against each other each experience of course happening in the now and so in the creation of symbols we sacrifice reality for a map of reality but even the map of reality can give us an idea of what the territory of reality is we sacrifice wealth for a symbol money we sacrifice eternity for numbers of seconds minutes hours years that elapse in the imagination now space is a state of consciousness that measures the distance between objects projected by us that is consciousness now we use numbers to measure it inches yards miles light years we describe the experience by attaching numbers to it but of course the description of the experience and the measuring of it is not the experience itself which is only now the experience is reality the description is a symbol so more on this later okay but just remember time is anxiety